In this lesson, we're going to discuss the Import Bitmap Image Tool. This tool is typically used to apply a logo or something, a logo to a drawing. It can also be used if you want to provide a photograph which enhances the drawing's understanding. And it can be also used if you just want to bring in something and trace it to get a not real accurate, but yet something artistic in the way of a line drawing of that particular bitmap image. When you click on the tool, first thing it does is open up the last folder you had opened up for this tool. But we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, so let's back up here a second. You most likely do not want to import this image until you know exactly which layer you want to place it upon. So placing it on the proper layer can be very important. Let's take the example where we're going to actually use the bitmap image to trace an outline of something within the image. And I'm going to place it on a new layer, so let's select a new a layer here. We have a layer list over here. We'll create a new layer. And I'll call it bitmap. So I got to select that layer. And then I come over here, start up the tool, and go and grab the image I'm looking for. So I'm going to use Windows Explorer and go down here and go seek out the image I'm looking for. And it just happens to be deep down in here. All pictures, box, RV. Here's a picture of an old RV. And the image I want is image number 20, file name 20. So I close that out, go ahead and pick out the image file name 20 and open it. First thing it wants us to do, you notice we can change the width and the height and we can also rotate it. I don't want to do any of those things. I'm just going to place it on the page here. And now I'm finished, so we're going to zoom to fit all. Notice it's a picture right there of that, that old RV. Now if I want to trace the outline of this RV, I'd want the outline to be to scale. So the first thing I have to do is make the picture to scale. So I went out to the physical product and I measured the distance between the centers of these two wheels right here. And that number was 17 feet. So now I'm going to come here to the drawing. I'm going to measure it and see what it is here in the drawing. So I'm going to select this information tool. I'm going to select two point measurement. I'm going to snap to nothing. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to center it on this wheel. And center it on this wheel over here. And that says 70 feet, 1 inch. So let's just call that 70 feet. So we know it should be 17 feet. It isn't. So let's scale this particular entity. First we have to select it. So we'll select the drawing. The bitmap, I should say. Then we're going to use a tool on it. We're going to scale it. Use a scale tool. So there's a focus point on it. We're going to scale it right here to this corner. Let's scale it from the wheel. Why not? Okay, now it says the scale factor. Well, the scale factor is we want it to be 17 70ths of what it was. 17 divided by 70. We'll forget the one inch. And we're going to delete the original and say OK. So now the drawing is actually scaled to the proper dimensions. And let's go ahead and do a zoom to all again. Let's go out and measure this one more time, see what the distance is. So we go back to our information tool, two points, we'll freehand it, measure from there over to here, you notice it's 17 feet. So now this picture is actual size, it's true physical size of the actual RV itself. So now if we trace the outlines of the RV, then we will in fact have an accurate, within a few one to two percent, an accurate tracing which reflects the true size of the RV. Now that we have the image at the proper scale, let's go ahead and zoom in on a portion of it and trace that portion of the image. Before we do that, let's select a layer list and let's put it on this RV layer list here. 
and the colors for our view layer list, we're going to make it green so it stands out. So that's going to be the RV layer list. So now we go ahead and we zoom in on this image. We window in on this part right here we want to do. And get things going here, we're going to use the tool. I can click the right button right here. The polyline tool that allow us to connect various places with straight lines. We could also do arc segments. But that's good. If you want to get real precise, you can have larger arcs too. But I'm going to use straight lines for this demonstration. So we're going to start up here at the top corner of the cab of the vehicle. We just go to left click and start tracing the outline. There's a little bit of a bend right here. And how accurate it is depends how much time you want to spend with it. So I'm going to bring it straight across here. Come up the fender well. Like I said, I'm not spending a whole lot of time with this. I forgot to select freehand, by the way. That was causing issues. So once you've done the outline, And we'll take a look at the results here shortly. We'll just go around this part of it right now. That's the fancy here. And we'll finish it here and we can close it. Makes it easy to get right back to the same spot. Now we right click to exit that tool. And if we turn off the bitmap, and you see we do have the outline of the cab. Like I say, how much effort you put into it determines the quality of the outline. In my particular application, this was enough representation to get the job done. So that's how you go ahead and trace a bitmap image to get your line vector capabilities in your drawing program. So in summary, when you want to place an image to do a, a line of it, line drawing of it, then you have to first of all determine the uh, size of the image, the scale of the image to make sure it's the scale that reflects which, how you want to use it. I wanted a one-to-one -one scale, so I set the scale to be one-to-one -one by measuring the distance between the two axles. Then you also want to decide which layer you want to put the bitmap on so you can easily turn it off and see what you've been working on, which in this case is the RV layer. So you probably need a separate layer for the entity that you're drawing with the lines too so that you can separate it from other parts of your drawing. So this concludes using a bit image file to either import into a drawing for clarification of the drawing or to use to create an outline of whatever is within the bit image file.